Hi everyone, Inclusive Model Designs here with part 2 of the TACOM 135th scale Leopard C2 tank. Now carrying on from uh, the last video, uh, I've done some painting and a little bit of installing. As you can see I installed some of the parts and it's best to do that before painting them. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier uh, to paint other than trying to put them on and then you might get glue marks. So that's uh, a better way of doing it. You don't have to do all the parts. As you can see, I left some out because those will go on a little bit later. I find they'll be a little easier to paint, like pieces like that, which will go here. A little bit easier if I just paint that separate and then install it. As well as I did uh, paint uh, those separate, as I said in the last video. It's gonna, it was a lot easier to, to paint them separate than it is trying to paint it with you know the hull. This piece here really blocks the paint. So doing that separate, I think, really helped. And then I only glued them on the ends. So you can see, they got a little bit of flex to them, which is what you want. Now, finding the right color was hard. Um, I did some research into it and said that there's, there's NATO uh, color, Kark, uh, things like that. But trying getting the right color it is somewhat hard. When, now, I say hard because I use sprays. I use the Tamiya sprays. I don't have an airbrush or I'm not set up for an airbrush. Um, I'm just not that kind of model builder. But what I did find is if you kind of blend these two colors, the NATO green and the dark green, uh, what is that, JGSDF, blend them a little and it works out well and to get uh, that right color. What I do is I prime it in white and then I spray this just kind of, you know, willy nilly, you know, just little areas. And then I'll spray the rest with the, the TS-91. That way it kind of gives a little bit of shading. You might, the camera might, might not pick it up, but uh, it is there. And of course there's weathering to go on and stuff like that too. But I found that I got the colors, let's see here, fairly close. And that's just going off the box. So I, I did manage to do that. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. And that's pretty much as far as we've gotten uh, so far. I'm kind of fighting off a bit of a cold here. So, um, you know, starting a new model is kind of helping me take my mind off of the, the cold. So we're gonna keep going on this. Um, it's going well so far. Again, this is the Canadian variant and doing the Canadian variant. So um, please stand by for more to come. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks, bye.